sorry stuff. I'm gonna be really candid with you in this video. Today I'm gonna be picking up my wedding dress. And uh, these are not happy tears. <laughs> there is absolutely a reason why I have put this off. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this day. I haven't been. And that's a weird thing to say. Oh shit. I feel like growing up like little girls, they look forward to a day like this, right? But I feel like it's different when you have body dysmorphia and an eating disorder and you're really insecure. I have to get myself together if I'm gonna do this video. <laughs> I promise I can do this. So, I put this appointment off for as long as I could. Um, because I don't want to do it. Uh, I really struggle with body dysmorphia really bad. And um, just knowing that I'm going to have to be looking at myself in a mirror today quite a lot. It's not going to be easy for me. I try really hard not to look in the mirror because I just pick myself a bat. But today I gotta have to. But I, d I deserve to feel beautiful today and I've done my hair and I'm gonna make myself look like a bride because the one thing I know I can do is makeup, okay? okay. I have collected myself the best I can. <laughs> um, so let's fucking do makeup, okay? I'm gonna use the Sicily foundation because it's like really beautiful and um, it gives me a little bit of color because I am very, very pale. So, so pretty and skin-like. Isn't that so pretty? So the good news is I am going to this appointment with people who love me, um, my two best friends, my mom, my aunt, and Cody's mom. So I will not be alone. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I, I haven't even looked at wedding dresses online at all because I, I don't even want to think about it. So much so that I don't even know where the place we're going is. Like, I, I first Google search I found, I booked an appointment online and I shut my computer. <laughs> so hopefully it's a good place because I have no idea. <laughs> Doing bridal makeup is my favorite. So aside from all this anxiety, this is putting me in a state of zen. Thank goodness. Let's make myself look like a bride. So if you're a bride, Huda Beauty powder. Trust me. I'm going to bake that shit in. Smooth as butter. Just continuing on the subject of body dysmorphia. So growing up in gym class, you had to change, you know, into gym clothes. And I always felt like there was something wrong with me because I was like the only fucking girl who could not change in front of anybody. Like all the girls would just change in front of each other and I would have to go in a private separate room because I couldn't. It always made me feel like something was wrong with me. Um, yeah. I love a lot of bronzer because it can get washed out in photos. Like, I wish that I could be like all these fucking TikTok influencer baddies and like, I, still to this day, I don't feel like I fit in, in as an influencer in general because I, I'm not like the fucking beauty standard in any way. <laughs> I hate taking selfies for Instagram because I can't even stand to look at myself. <laughs> and I don't mean to be negative. I'm just, that's the reality I live in and it's something I'm working on. I am fucking dying at these blushes. Do you see this shit? And you just basically, they slide. Oh, hold on. Look at this. Bruh. Bruh. And then I got this one. Oh my gosh. These are fucking beautiful. They're from P. Louise. I'm obsessed with them. I'm gonna use this color right here and I'm gonna use a light hand with it. I might use a little bit of this. Louise tends to be very pigmented, so that's why I say going with a light hand. <laughs> I'm keeping it a little bit higher. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this one, just for this pad of my cheeks, ombre effect, if you will. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this Desi spray just to like kind of bring back the skin because I've I've used a lot of powder. And then I take a beauty blender and I kind of just press the spray in <laughs> see how it kind of like made me look alive again <laughs> then you can take a fan just to make sure it's fully dry 
<clears throat> okay, I feel like I'd be dumb not to use this highlighter because it's literally called White Wedding. <laughs> and it's from P. Louise. I don't even know what this looks like on the inside. Oh. Yes. Let's try it. Oh, I'm very happy with my decision. <laughs> oh, bitch. Oh, she is white. <laughs> Put the highlighter on the brow bone, I'm telling you. And right above the arch, look at this. I'm, oh my God. All has been saved. All has been, it's a good day. Dress, look at the palette I'm gonna use on my eyes. It's the P. Louise Bridal Series Wedding Wish XL Palette. This is like the bridal palette. Holy hell. Holy hell. It's beautiful. I got to give you the close up. Look at the colors. Look at the names. Mm. Okay, so let me do the lip combo first because it's about a fucking slay. Yeah, what, see how when I get doing my makeup, my mood changes? Makeup is my... I'd be dead without makeup. I'm just saying. <laughs> Not in a bad... Well, kind of bad, but it's true. Another drill. Clean the lips off and then any leftover satin powder just to mute the color because my lips are very naturally pink. And then this has been my favorite lip liner lately. Oh Snap from ColourPop. Listen, there were many times in my life where makeup was the only thing that kept me going. And that is still true to this day. I don't know how to explain it. This shit, this fucking paint on my face, it fucking makes me so fucking happy. Okay, so line the lips. I just did the outline. I'm gonna lightly feather it in. I'm keeping it kind of clean though. Okay, and then fuck you, Mac. I love you so much, but this is a discontinued lipstick that is my favorite of all time, Mac Flesh Pot. So just gonna put that on top. I'm more so pressing it in, mainly in the center. Yeah, I'm just a nude bitch. <laughs> okay, the good news is I feel pretty. <laughs> Imagine if, what a tragedy. <laughs> okay, let's do these fucking eyes. I'm doing P. Louise. Tap that shit in. Okay, with this palette, there's so many possibilities. What do I do? Okay, I'm gonna take a large fluffy blending brush and I'm starting with shade Chamin. Oh, if you haven't tried P. Louise shadows, by the way, Fire Flames, fuck me up. Okay, I love this color, perfect transition shade, perfect tone. I like to blend it out to the end of the tail. Okay, I'm taking shade Bride Tribe on a medium blending brush and I'm taking that right into the socket. Look at the immediate dimension. Wow, these tones. Okay, I'm taking shade Rock and Value mixed together, and I'm going to really start smoking this edge here. I want to really take it up to the brow and give it all the dimension we can. I can't get over the fucking blend of these shadows. On the outer lid, I'm pressing down shade Blessings, and in the outer V, I'm adding a light touch of shade The Big Day. So this is the V right here. Half cut crease. This is pretty as hell. Okay, we need to add one of these shimmers. Okay, let me swatch these. I've never swatched these before, so this is like first impression. Okay. Hold. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Go to path four. Literally, there's nothing more iconic. So NYX glitter glue, right? Flat brush. I'm going to put it all over my half cut crease. This makes sure there's no fallout. It makes sure the shimmer shadows last all day. For the shimmer, I think I'm going to use shade Promise. Yep. I am deceased. Oh, oh, this is just like wildly pretty. I could fucking... I'm going to do a small half black wing, okay? Small. The reason I'm doing a small half black wing is because this shadow is so beautiful that I don't want any winged liner to take away from that. Tight line. One coat of mascara. Visual. <laughs> I'm going to add a really small half lash. It's just the right amount of lash. I want to keep my under eyes bright, so I'm going to add this beautiful LA Girl Shimmer Pencil. Trust me when I say y'all need this pencil, okay? Look at that. Oh my god. And a little bit of bottom lash mascara. Dude. I look like a fucking bride. I look like a fucking bride. I'm geeking out. Okay, I gotta, I'm gotta. i gonna go change. I have the cutest top, and then we're gonna take down the hair. Oh, I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so happy. I'll be right back. Okay, isn't this like adorable? I think it is. <laughs> I got it on Etsy. Okay, for the earrings, obviously I have a fuck ton already. <laughs> but um, yeah, because of that, I'm just gonna go with a simple 
silver hoop because my ears are already a lot. I don't know what I'm going to wear for earrings on my wedding day quite yet, but we'll go with this for now. I think they look really cool. Okay, now it's time to take down this hair and uh, just, you know, pray that it actually looks good. <laughs> Because I have no fucking clue how to do hair, so I'll be right back. So far, so good. Like I said, I don't fucking know how to do hair, so I'm just like putting my hair in a little, I don't know, cute situation. <laughs> Whatever. Here's what it looks like from like the sides, okay? That's it. I'm gonna be really anxious today, and it's gonna be really difficult. But after doing my makeup, I feel better. So, <sighs> here we go. Let's go get a fucking wedding dress.